Yo, what's up, guys? This is Tianzi No Akme here with my 25th tips and tricks video. So here we go. Let's hope you guys enjoy it. Baiting Baron. One of the many things that people do when sneaking a Baron buff is to send out a player onto the map. This gives the enemy vision and false security. In this situation, since my cat deals a lot less damage to Baron than an AD curry would like Corky, it would make a lot more sense to send me out as bait. Make sure that you know that the enemy doesn't have Baron warded or else it won't turn out well. I have noted this before in a previous tips and tricks video, but the example I had wasn't as clear as the one I have now. As you can see here, Nocturne is in a little bit of a pickle. I see this and go in to help him out. Watch closely. The moment I kill Mundo, I turn to level 6 and immediately hit my ult hotkey to level up my ult, giving me just enough time to cast it and pick up a double kill. Clicking on the level up icon would have taken way too long, and Shen would have came and saved Vagar with his taunt. When a good opportunity comes along to kill the enemy, and you need more than one person to finish the job, it's a good idea to coordinate with your teammate. Try to see where they are positioned compared to you. This first situation is an example of what you should not do. Vlad knows that I'm coming to gank, and without checking my location, he goes in to bait the Nidalee and subsequently gets himself killed. I'm unable to follow up, and Nidalee pounces away with a free kill. In this next situation, you see that Shaco comes to steal our blue buff. I wait for Olaf to come so we can burst Shaco down faster. Had I ulted earlier, Shaco may have caught on and deceived away with a blue buff. Getting out in the easiest fashion possible. Many times, some people feel that strapping on the juke boots and putting on a show is their best choice. No. Take the easiest route out when you are aware of an incoming gank. Giovanna has a movement speed boost and a jump. She could have easily escaped the enemy if she simply walked the simplest route. Because Giovanna chose to run into the enemy jungle and straight into a ton of crowd control, she got herself killed and lost the game for her team after the enemy took the opportunity to take Baron and push. Cycling kills the teammates. It isn't easy to carry 4 players no matter how fed you are. Many people complain that they get 20 kills in a game and the rest of their team feeds. Try to cycle some of the kills to your teammates. That way it'll bring them back into the game and they can carry themselves without relying too much on their teammates. It is always easier to carry a team with 2 people than it is to carry a team with 1 person. In this game, Nocturne gave me most of the kills and I was able to carry the team to victory even though I got counterpicked mid by Cassidy. Alright guys, this is the fun clip for this week. As you can see here, Mundo catches Jarvan with his cleaver. Knowing that his team is here to help him, Jarvan's gonna go in with his dash and then ult. Jana is gonna focus her. I can't go in because he has his wall there. Finally, the wall drops down. I finally can go and take out TF immediately and take out the rest of his team because of that. I'm barely able to shimble onto Corky before he flashes away, which allows me to pick up the Penta kill. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys want to see more, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm streaming right now, and I also have a Facebook page which has all of my info on it. So, well, all of the updates that I have. So, go check it out. All the links will be in the description. Thanks for watching.